And now we're moving to women's jump final. The Nautique 200 just doing a familiarization pass there and we'll be on the water with competitor number one. And here she is, she's from the USA. It's Lauren Morgan. Now with jump, it's all about distance, not style. Let's see what she can do. Edges through the wake. She's got some speed and drive, gets the lift and float of the top. Lauren Morgan, jump number one, 47 meters. Well, she jumped 46. Six on her second, but now moving to a third jump. And great lift and float through the air. And Lauren Morgan from the USA, 48.6 metres, her longest of the set. Yeah, great to see Pucci or Lauren Morgan out here. We move now to France. Marion Matthew, jump number one, chasing that score of 48.6. Edges those Goodman skis right into the base of that ramp. Oh, gets great lift and float off the top. And it's our first jump over 50 metres. It's 50.2. Oh, great stuff from Harry Matthew. Well, coached by her husband, Scott Ellis, and look at the job he's done with her because she absolutely flew with a great opening distance there. 50.2, and that's her longest. So we move now to our next competitor from Canada. We just saw her take the slalom championship. Can she add the jump? She had a 44.2 on the first. This is her second. It's a 46.3. It's her longest jump of the day, and that's not going to get her onto the podium. Whitney McClintock from Canada. Now to Finland and the defending Moomba Masters champion, Yuta Lamy. Okay, angles in. Oh, she's flying in her opening jump and great power and wonderful extension from the top of the ramp there for Yuta Lamy. It was her longest of the day, 49.4. Beautiful extension, pressing nicely over the front of those skis. Well, it's not long enough to take her into the lead. I'm here with Finland's Yuta Lamy. Your last jump, you really went for it, just couldn't get a hold. Yeah, I mean, all three jumps I had a lot of speed and not a kick on a single jump, so pretty disappointing. So we move now to the world record holder with a jump of 58.6 metres, Natalia Bertnikava from Belarus. Edges into the base, she gets good lift and extension off the top and jump number two, 52.3 metres. She is the new leader here in the women's jump final. We go to replay, good speed, gets the lift and gets the pull from that Ski Nautique 200 off the top. And 52.3, her longest jump of the day with one competitor on the dock. Yes, now to our top seed, Australia's own Jacinta Carroll. Well, she was pipped at the post last year. She dearly loved to be the Moomba champion. Oh, what a fantastic opening leap for Jacinta Carroll. Oh, it's 53.8 metres. She's won the event on her first jump, Jacinta Carroll from Australia. Oh, but Rob, devastating news for Jacinta. We've had a fast time come through from our official tow boat, that Ski Nautique 200. It towed her too fast through the air. So unfortunately for Jacinta, jump number one is not counted. She'll get a re-ride and we'll bring her back for jump number one now. Well, it all starts again for Jacinta Carroll. She angles in. Look how low she's into the base of the ramp. Look at that power. Well, that's another good jump, but gee, I think she just lost a fraction on the ramp. Oh, and she's only gone 51.8, so she hasn't done it yet. Oh, we're on to jump number two now. Can she do it here? Edging in, oh, just sliding out. She's gonna leave it all to the third and final jump, 43.1 there. Well, she's chasing 52.8. Wow, this is a pressure situation. Go Jacinda Carroll, Australia. She pushes hard into the bottom of the ramp. Oh, and she's flying through the air. Oh, that's gotta be close. It must be so close. Oh, and Jacinda Carroll. 52.9 metres and victory in the Moomba Masters for 2014. Oh wow, what an effort here. Jacinta Carroll just edges into the base. She gets the kick and lift. Probably didn't get the, quite the lift she would have liked. She had mountains of speed though. And she is now the 2014 Women's Jump Champion here. Jacinta Carroll from Australia. Jacinta, firstly, what was going through your mind after that fast time? Oh, it was crazy. I, I heard the score over the loudspeakers through my helmet and thought, oh, I've done it on my first jump, but unfortunately I got a fast time and I had to try and regroup myself down the end and just start from scratch, forget that jump ever happened. And it's official, your champion for 2014 women's jump, Jacinta Carroll, Australia, followed by Natalia Bernacava from Belarus and Marion Matthew from France. And now we move to men's jump final. Our first competitor from the USA, Zach Warden. His opening jump 
on his left this approach late. He has miles of speed and good float through the air and an excellent opening approach, 63.4 metres. Yeah, what a great start there for Zach Warden from the USA. Of course, the boat speed 57 k's. They're going to double that into the base of this ramp and Zach on a jump number three. It's a huge jump and he's going to put some pressure on the boys still to come. 63.6 metres. Wow. Well, the boat speed's travelling at 57 and look how he starts from way out to the side. It's that whipping effect that generates the speed into the base of the ramp and wonderful air form and great stuff there for Zach Warden. 63.6. Well, that is a mark to chase. We caught up with Zach on the dock with Josh Louder. What were conditions like out there? I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, the crowd out there, the noise, the water's perfect out here. We have an awesome Ski Night Teak 200. That's a super strong boat, gives us a great pull, so it's awesome. And in last night's night jump competition, Zach put on a GoPro video to show how dangerous and how much little room for error there is on the jump ramp. Look at the flight through the air. This is under lights. And we certainly thank Zach for his video footage and his contribution to the Moomba Masters. We move now to our next competitor, Bojan Schipner from Germany on jump number one. Has tons of speed, gets that extension off the top and flowed through the air. The score comes through 62.3 metres on jump number one. Well, this guy won Junior Worlds just a few years ago and Bojan Schipner, oh, he's flying into the bottom of the ramp and oh, what a magnificent leap for Bojan Schipner, 65.2 metres. Wow, this is really putting a stamp on this event. The guys are absolutely pulling all stops out. We go to replay and watch Bojan just fly off the top of that ramp. And wow, he is gone. Well, I was going to say a mile, but 65.2 metres, our new leader. As we go now to an Australian, it is Joel Wing. Had the jump of 57.5 on the first. This is his second, edging into the base. Gets good extension off the top. Oh, it's a fantastic jump there from Joel. 61.8 metres. Look at the lift he gets off the top. Gets the hang time in the air and manages to ski that jump away and punches the fist. Knows it was a big jump. I'm here with the Aussie, Joel Wing. We usually see him in slalom finals, trick finals, but jump finals? How was it out there? Yeah, awesome, fantastic. This is actually our first time in the Moomba jump final, so it's really exciting. I've been kind of on the verge the last couple of years. My jumping's been improving, so it's nice to finally get one. Yeah, get in the final and get one out, out there. Now coming off the back of a 57, 6 and a 62. This is the third and final for the Russian, Igor Morozov. He flies into the base of the ramp and Good looking leap. Well, I don't know if it's going to be far enough to eclipse Bojan Shipner. 63.4 metres for Igor Morozov. Look at the power the big Russian has. He's a rather tall man and he floats through the air, but he's just come a metre or so shy of the lead, which is still held by Bojan Shipner. So we move now to Ryan Green from Australia. Let's see what he can do. Jump number one. He turns those skis, edges towards the ramp, gets the kick and extension off the top. Oh, Ryan Green. It's not going to be enough to put him into the lead. 57.8, which of course will be his longest of the afternoon. So we go to replay. Just didn't quite have the extension off the top, which what he would have liked, and didn't have the speed we've seen some of our other competitors. Now we move to our second top seed. Opening jump for Damien Charman from Great Britain. Angles into the ramp, straining on the tow line and a good looking opening approach. 63.4 metres for Damien Charman. Well, this is his opening jump. His first was in fact his longest, so 63.4 metres. Not long enough to uh, out leap. Bojan Shipner, who still leads with 65.2 metres. And we go now to the world record holder of 75.2 metres. It is Freddy Krueger from the USA. Jump number one. Look at the lift and float off the top on the first. Chasing 65.2. And it was a 65.1. Unfortunately there, Freddy is yet to take that Moomba Masters crown as we go to replay. Look at the extension, that left ski just sliding out a little bit and losing that tiny little bit of distance, which would have put him into the gold medal position. Well, I, I thought the ski spread just a little on the ramp, so he can go further, but so far he's 10 centimetres shy. As Freddy Krueger, his second jump, he pushes into the base of that ramp. Oh, this looks like it could be a fraction longer, but we need a distance to make it official. Oh, it's 65.5. 
the winner once again. Well, Freddy Krueger, you never get sick of watching him. What a champion. And look at that leap as Freddy Krueger leaps his way in to the championship for the Moomba Masters 2014, our men's jump champion, Freddy Krueger. Your 2014 Moomba Masters men's jump champion for a second year in a row, Freddy Krueger. Freddy, how was it out there? You know what, it was nice. Um, you know, we've kind of, each round here is always different. It doesn't matter, I've been here 16 times. It never feels the same. It always feels a little rushed. Today, uh, the, the end down there, the current was down, and uh, Jody was driving it just right. The boat felt great. Ramp was great. And, uh, you know, Zach going off early and kind of kicking a big one, and then Boyan setting right up behind him, you know, it kind of laid it out there that, you know, you're going to have to bring your A game. So just confirming those results from our men's jump final. The 2014 men's jump champion, Freddy Krueger from the USA, Bojan Shipner from Germany taking home the silver, and Zach Warden from the USA in the bronze.